Hello and welcome to Business with Smith Co. Hello and welcome back to Business with Smith Co. Today we're going to be talking about benefits uh, for the consumer of brand names. So uh, with Christmas coming further closer, uh, one of the things people are concerned about when they're buying gifts is actually being like aware, like be, just making sure that the product like is, well, good. Because if you if you buy something and you're really, really annoyed because it breaks, you're really, really annoyed and that's you down. And as long as it's something that you wanted and not that you needed, then it's kind of okay because although you may be annoyed by that, it isn't necessarily that bad. But if you're giving a gift, well, you want to be confident and have peace of mind that it's good. So when customers choose a recognized brand, they may be paying more for it, but they may feel confident in the brand. Now, the customer might think that it's safer to choose a well-known brand when buying an expensive item or a new type of good if they haven't used it before. However, of course, be aware that this is not always true. Just because a brand is well known and it has a high place does not mean it is good quality. I mean, I, I, I bought something the last day, well not the last day, a while back, and, I, and it was supposed to be good quality, it was a gift for someone, and then it was like, just just broke, you know, like, they were, you know, I thought, you know, put over it, a little extra money, you know, because it's, cause it's a well known brand, and no, it just breaks, you know, it's just, Anyway, the point is that at this point, this can help businesses, but it also can help customers. So even if later on they regret that brand, they can have the peace of mind beforehand. But I've kind of ruined that, haven't I? I will. Um, so it also provides an image. Um, customers often choose brands that reflect what they feel about themselves or what they want others to think about them. Brands often hold links to different lifestyles or traits when consumers buy them or use them. They might want to be related to that image. So a consumer eating a protein bar instead of a chocolate bar might want to seem as healthier, even though a protein bar might contain, you know, other, you know, things such as sugar or anything like that to make it seem more, well, nicer. Um, so this is the kind of thing people have. So a lot of the time this is actually something that cars are to do with. People often buy cars uh, that, that they think they want to be associated with. Now, obviously you might think, oh, this also benefits businesses. It does, but it also benefits consumers in a way, except of course, you know, that's a problem with human psychology, I guess. Next comes, helps to judge a product. A brand helps consumers to judge what is expected for quality and performance of different options. They can use branding to judge how long a product might last or if it has little value for money. You know, the country in which a brand is reduced can also influence the consumer. So, for example, if a product is seen as good quality, and remember, don't just assume that, just because it's a well-known brand, actually check um then you know because with our merch you're probably maybe not gonna get good quality i mean I, it's it, it's a thing that you know i mean i i'm just saying that you know at the merch site that we can think we currently use it's like you know you get like 50 cent a sale and then they take like 15 quid so it's like oh, just, uh, let's you know you know what? let's let's not go with them actually you know so um, that's the thing. So you might want to be aware to check that. Now, it also, as they say, is referencing the fact that the country it comes from. So this is kind of thing where, like, if you, uh, there are a lot of like companies such as like clothing, a lot of like sportswear companies, and other companies as well. Oftentimes, use clothing companies to oftentimes use sweatshops to produce their goods, and that's the kind of thing. Like, you might want to avoid brands that use sweatshops because you know, try labor. Yeah, you know, just stay away from them companies. You know, um, then it also makes uh, products easier to choose. Where customers faced with so many decisions uh, when buying things, a easily recognizable logos and packaging can make decisions more straightforward. As certain brands are associated with positive value, characteristics, or position. Now, obviously, I'm pretty myself, but that is not always reliable. But you know, that is what sometimes can clear your head and make your decisions more forward thinking in that way. Now, 
we move on to something that's different. On brand products. Now, on brand products are products that are sold by retailers under the retailer's own name and logo. So large retailers oftentimes will use their own label brands uh, and then it's sold against like company brands uh, in their shop. So a lot of company, a lot of site shops, you have different levels of quality and prices within its own brand portfolio. You know, offering premium uh, range as well as cheaper. Uh, this tiers the company's goods, what well, their own brand goods. Um, that you know, obviously you can choose between all sorts of things. And you know, oftentimes some companies will have a middle option. Um, then you have the reasons why a business might do this. Because I'm wondering why exactly would a business produce own brand products? Now. It offers consumers lower prices as a competitive edge. A business can sell its own brand goods at a cheaper price than their market leader. So the lower price goods might attract customers to use the store or shop to make savings on similar quality goods. You know, uh, you know one of the companies, uh, Lidl and Aldi, offer a lot of own brand goods as cheaper alternatives to brand goods. You know, because obviously brands tend to add their own fees and we've got all those extra fees that are added on and there's also the thing where we are paying for the brand and that is cut out when you have this own brand thing. Then you can also get a higher profit margin per product. So if a brand takes a portion of each sale, as I've said, then the shop is not going to make so much money on the product sold. But obviously, if it is able to keep more profit, it may even just keep it as a, 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 at that price. That way, even if it isn't like actually making, you know, you know, even if it isn't attracting more people by having lower prices than the than the big brand, then they actually, even if they just have it as the same price or just a bit lower, they're still making more money as a profit area. Then it can also lead to repeat customers. If a customer wants to buy a certain own brand good, they have to use the same retail retail store as it won't be available in other goods and other shops. It won't be able to have that good in other shops. However, while this will create customer loyalty, it won't be available in other shops, possibly under its own name. However, there is one thing. Um, a lot of shops tend to, what they do is they buy in goods and then they wrap their own name around their, around that product. What that means is that while a customer might be thinking, okay, this product is only available in this shop because it's the shop's own brand, uh, and but that can be true of brands as well. Uh, brands may only make a deal with one shop. Uh, uh, but the point is that that means that that isn't necessarily true. It just means it isn't, it, it isn't available anywhere else under that name, but sometimes what happens is multiple shops will buy the same goods and then put their own labels around that good and that well that will create is basically all these own brand goods may be very very similar um that happens with a lot of milk um on lots of things a lot of milk is is like that it comes from you know one one source um obviously that's not all things but that's that's an example of that sort of thing then it also creates an easily recognizable product. For example, own brand goods are able to, for example, what am I saying? Own brand goods carry the retailer logo and branding. So consumers can pick out that product from a display against other competitors. A consumer looking for a cheaper product might be able to pick out a specific value product uh, from its logo quickly. And they know that it is a good value option compared with the other goods without actually having to compare it to the other goods. Now, the benefits for own brand, for own brand products for consumers is what we'll be talking about in the next video. So please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, look at other videos and uh, all sorts of things like that because it really does help and hopefully we'll be able to reach that advert area. I mean, that would be nice. I don't know that would be nice. It's a lot of stress, and you have a lot of things to do. But still, you know, you don't have to. It's just you know, good to grow, you know. So subscribe today, and 
it's yeah, I think I mean people would say it's it's free it's free yeah but the time involved although it doesn't take that much time also remember if you want to subscribe but don't want any notifications you can click the notifications off people are always encouraging people to you know turn on all notifications but if you just want to support the Smith Cove Fact Hub YouTube channel but don't want to get another video from us just don't ever want to look at another video then you can just turn notifications off I think they need to start encouraging that just saying yeah. I mean, channels will get more, more subscribers if they, you know, pointed out that you can just turn off notifications. You don't need those annoying notifications if you turn them off. Anyway, um, thank you for watching or listening, and uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe, if that's what you, if you come back next time.